Kathy here. Okay, I'm going to make a short, quick video to show you how to force a copy in Google Slides, or you can do this in Google Docs, to be able to help your student to make a copy so your student doesn't mess up your copy of the document and type in their own, and then they can just send the link back to you with their answer to the questions or whatever it is, whether it's a worksheet or an essay or whatever. Does that make sense? All right, I'm going to show you. Maybe it'll make more sense after that. But before I do that, don't forget to click on the like and the subscribe and the bell because it really does help my channel and help me get up there on YouTube. All right, let's go check it out, okay? So if I go into this one here, here is my Google Doc. We're going to scroll this up because we need to be able to have access to the URL, okay? So this is a Google Slides doc that I have for my students. And what I'm going to do, hopefully you can see me do this, is up in the URL it says edit. Everything from edit on you want to highlight. Click in the, in the box and then click to highlight. So where it says edit on. And then once you have that all highlighted, you want to type in copy. And then once I hit enter, what it's going to do is it's going to force a copy of this document. Okay? So then what you're going to want to do instead, you want your students to see this page. You don't want to click on this, make a copy. You want to go up here and click on the URL and copy that URL. And then you want to give that to your students in whatever place that they need to have it. <coughs> Excuse me. And then once they copy and paste or click on that link, it will take them to this page and makes a copy. So then once you click on make a copy, what it does is it makes a copy of this document and allows them to type in the document and edit it how they want. See, it says copy of student template. Okay, so now let's move my... Sorry about that. Let's move my face down here to the corner because now what you want to do is you want to make sure that your students understand they have to click on this because if you're going to get this document, they've made a copy so you're not going to see what they're typing. So now what they need to do is they need to click, you need to click on share, have them click on share and they need to open it up to anyone with a link can view or edit the document so you can see what they've typed. Okay. And then you're going to copy that link, and they can copy that link. So I clicked on this here, anyone with a link, and then click on this and go to editor, and then you copy the link, okay? And then once they give you that link, if you put that in a tab, you'll see what they've typed in there. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. And I hope that makes it easy to see. So now it's got a box there showing that I'm editing the same document because I've got several copies of it open. Okay. I hope that makes sense. It's a quick, short video just going over to show you how that works so you can give your students a link to make a copy, and then they just have to share a link back with you, and you can see what they've typed and be able to edit it as needed, and then they're not messing up your copy. That's what I like to do for my students, especially in my writing class. I hope this was helpful, and if you have any questions, don't hesitate to let me know in the comments, and I will respond. Okay, I'll see you next time.